What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today we're going to be opening up this box from the Wax Box Club. This costs a little over $100 Canadian ships and there should be some really good stuff inside. It's a guaranteed auto or graded card um, as well as sealed packs. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to put everything out here. So the first thing is they will send you roughly what you could possibly get each, uh, well in this box for example. Uh, and it'll give you the ratio of getting uh, young guns or other uh, relics and other things as well. Not everything you will get, um, but there is a 1 in 10 chance of a bonus graded card, but you're guaranteed an auto card either way, as like a bonus card. So I'm just going to move some of these packing peanuts out of the way and get right to the packs. Stack number one, stack number two. Now there's always going to be a vintage pack, but for this one here it is score pack 1990, uh, which I have not opened many of on the channel. Actually, I'm not sure if I did open any of them, uh, but there's 15 cards in that pack. We have 2010 11 Don Ross, which I've never opened on the channel before, which is cool. We have 2004 Quest for the Cup, never opened it before. 2009-10 SPX Hockey. Uh, this is not a hobby pack, but again, something new for the channel that I have not opened. We have a hobby pack of 2011-12 SPX. And we have a hobby pack of 2019-20, which I have opened a couple of these on the channel before. But still some really cool stuff. Then over here we have a, uh, not a hobby pack. Looks like just a regular, oh, nope, it is hobby pack. Of 2020-21 Series 1. We have Series 2. And then we have the Extended Series, which I have not opened on the channel. So that's going to be cool. Then we have some Fleer, which I've never opened on the channel. Uh, this is not a hobby pack. 2005 and 6. And then we have a hobby pack for 2008-2009. So a lot of really cool stuff. Some of it which uh, is stuff that I've never opened on the channel. So we're going to start off obviously with the 1990 pack. Get the vintage pack out of the way here. And see what we can possibly get. At least these ones aren't sticking together. They look nice. Some of the 90s packs and early 2000s tend to stick together for me whenever I'm opening them up. Uh, Darren Turcock, Scott Arnail, Kerry Wilson, make a pile here, Paul Reinhardt, base, base, Van B. Brock, probably butchered it. We got a Boston Bruins Conference Champions card, which is cool. Don't have that. We have a Season's leader, Wayne Gretzky for assists, which is another one I don't have. A record scorer for Jerry Curry. And then back to the base. Base, base. The rest is all going to be base. Oh, I don't have that one. That's cool. Some of these I've picked up. Oh, Paul Coffee Speedster. I don't know why it's not focusing today. There we go. So at least there's some hits. Uh, some ones that I don't have and a Wayne Gretzky card, which is always fun to get. I put these out of the way. Um, I might as well go over to 2020, 21 series one, two, and the extended series because that's stuff I've opened up on the channel before. You guys have seen that before. So we might as well get it out of the way next. Hopefully I get one of the uh, young guns top. Young Guns that I have not uh, got when I've opened this before. Again, it's not focusing. There we go. Joel Pavelski. Alex. Nicoletti. Oh, that's cool. This is the first clear cut I have actually pulled uh, from a pack. Yes, it is a hobby pack, but still. For Josh Morrissey. That's cool. Never pulled a uh, clear cut before. Uh, Carlson. Yeah, the rest are all base. So that's pretty cool. Got a clear cut at least. Something I've never pulled on the channel before, so that's always fun. 
Now we're going to do series two. Hopefully we have the same kind of luck. Uh, Peke Rene, recently retired. Uh, we do, we have a marquee rookie for Alex Belsley. Not familiar. The rest are all base. It looks like ones that I've already pulled. Now for the first time, we have an extended series on the channel. This is a hobby pack. And uh, I didn't check to see what is uh, in this. This is the first time we opening, so we're just going to get straight into it. Base, base, base. We have a rookie class. Uh, it looks like a silver script auto for Mikey Anderson, which is really cool. I have not seen these before, so obviously it's not a real autograph. It's a printed one, but still something very unique, rookie class. Not sure what those are worth. And of course, the rest are all base, Owen Tippett. Alright, next up we should go with... Uh, I'm going to do Quest for the Cup next, just because, again, another something that I've never opened up on the channel, but uh, get something else here. Let's see, Brian Boucher, goalie, which I collect goalie cards. Uh, we have Pittsburgh Penguins, Rico Fada, uh, Quest for the Cup. Valier Burr. We have a blue variant for Robert Lang. Quest for the Cup. And then Mike Ribeiro. I don't know why it's not focusing today, but that's pretty cool. Next up, we're going to do the Don Ross 2010 11. Let's see what we get in here. I like that uh, it's a lot of stuff that I've never opened up on the channel before, so you guys haven't seen from me, which is really cool. Joe Thornton, that's going to my PC. Mark andre Fleury, that's also going to my PC of him. Nicholas Backstrom, my goalie PC. Uh, Ryan Smith, Martin St. Louis, Jordan Bernier. I do PC him, so that's going to his PC. There we go. So I'm not sure if there was any hits. Um, but at least some players that I do PC, that honestly I'm glad to get. That's really cool stuff. So now I might as well go over, we're going to get the, uh, non-hobby pack Fleer out of the way, um, which it does tell you on this paper, uh, the odds of, let's see, 05, 06, there could be a rookie relic, Ovechkin, Crosby, Geslav, Keith, Perry, Carter, uh, Ledquest, which would be awesome. Um, one of three packs have that, so let's see what we get. Um, I'm not sure if I've opened up, like if I pulled some of these cards before, but, uh, rookie, right off the bat, Andy Roach, rookie card, that's cool, I'll separate it from the base here, Nick Day, uh, Eric Days, Nothing, nothing. Uh, Marcel Hossa, uh, Trent Hunter, and Brendan Shanahan. So we did get a rookie. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not familiar with the player, nor do I know uh, what roughly it's worth. But we're going to go to the 0809 rookie, uh, or sorry, Fleer, which uh, Broussard is the only real rookie that I would love to get that for that year. But we're going to get it here. Ooh, it's harder to read the names. Uh, David Legwan, I do PC. Uh, let's see, Mike Comrie. Uh, gold Medallion. So that's a cool one. I like that. Uh, 120, 170 Career Goals Scoring Kings, Mark Savard. Uh, then we have, ooh, that's cool. A uh, Oh, kind of like a clear cut. Uh, Patris Bergeron. Uh, EX clear cut, I guess. Not familiar, but I love the design of the card. That looks really cool. For some reason it's not focusing, so I have to keep hitting the screen um, while I'm recording. But it's kind of like a rainbow foil and then a clear cut on the outsides. That's really cool. For somebody that I do PC, that's a nice card. And obviously, Fleer is something that I've never seen out in the wild, so getting it in a box like this is really cool. Uh, of course, the rest are all base, and we do have Jeff Carter at the back. That's cool. 
Now let's get into uh, the SPX. I'm going to start off with the 0910 because it's not a hobby pack. Get the non-hobby stuff out of the way. Alex Hemsky. Wow, because it's foil, it's hard to focus. We have Mika Kiprasov. Of course, we have a decoy. Uh, Dion Phaneuf. Wow. So there's two, at least two players that I do PC that was in that, but not the best of stuff. Hopefully we have some better luck here. Uh, we're doing the 2011-12 uh, SPX right now. Hopefully we get something a little bit better in here. I like the design of them, honestly. I like that. That looks really cool. Uh, we have Matt Molson. Uh, can't pronounce it. A decoy, Ryan Getzlav, and Daniel Sedin. Um, not really anything special. They look like they're all base. So now, what I've been saving for the 1920 SPX, or sorry, the SP Authentic, um, which is something I was collecting. So, Jacob Treba, Matthew Brizal. We have a authentic moments for Carey Price. I would have rathered an autograph, but uh, that's still really cool. I don't get many of his cards. Sebastian Ajo, Sean Monahan. So that's really cool. We did get a Carey Price in there. That was cool. Uh, definitely not a team or a player that I collect, but um, at least it was interesting. And now we have the Wax Box Club uh, inserts. It's uh, you're always guaranteed an autograph, but it's a 1 in 10 chance of a bonus graded card. I can guarantee there's no graded card in here. It's not thick. It's not really heavy. But I'm going to open this up here and see uh, what we get. And that is cool. Uh, I'm going to butcher the name, but it's Christian uh, Dorbach. Uh, unfortunately, he has uh, been traded from the Phoenix Coyotes. He was somebody that I PC'd. Um, but now he's been traded, so gonna have to see. I'm not sure what this is worth. That's a really nice auto, though. I like that it's black on the back for Black Diamond's signature uh, place cards. So that's cool. Very, very cool auto. Uh, for a little over $100, I don't necessarily know if that was worth it getting this. At least we got an autograph, we got some really cool stuff, players that I PC, a lot of fun. At least I didn't use my own personal money to get this. I used my YouTube earnings to get this. So at least it was safe there. It was awesome to open. It was very fun. Something new on the channel. Comment down below if you honestly want to see me open up another one. Some months are better than others. Not all the time is it going to be the same uh, products like you've seen here. Sometimes they change it up every month. So it depends on what they have, what's available, and what you could possibly get in your outcomes. And sometimes you get a really amazing card, like I like this card, but sometimes you get an even better auto card, or sometimes you'll get a graded card, so there's always a chance of getting something better next time, which just makes me want to possibly order another box. But comment down below what you guys think. Should I order another box, or should I look at other things as well? There's a couple other subscription boxes that I'm interested in, but I will see what happens, and I'll see if I do decide to go that route or if I decide to open up another one of these. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.